Okay, so before we work on this rifle, we obviously need to take it apart. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. Very, very simple. You're going to need a 3mm Allen key. Loosen this screw right in front of the trigger guard. Just remember, um, you do not want to lose any of the pieces. So try to keep everything nice and neat in one place. Right, so once that's out, that's basically the first step. What you can do, just lift up here in front. This one's a bit tight. Oopsie, there we go. Alright, so lift up in front, then it should slide back a bit. And there we go. Off comes the stock. <laughs> Easy as can be. Alright, so the next step. In taking it apart is we need to remove this cap screw here at the back so this is gonna basically give us access and whilst you're busy just remember these pins on the trigger like to fall out so just keep an eye on them we do not want to lose those one thing I noticed now the moment I open this up look at this valve look at this screw here you see it's loose that's not good eh? so that would have definitely caused us some problems down the line all right so back to let's loosen this up all right so take out this back cap screw and then this will give us access to the cap over here this cap seems pretty tight all right, so if your cap screw does not want to come loose easily, don't panic. I'm going to show you another way that we can remove it. All right, so next step, let's loosen this uh, cap screw. This is what's holding the CO2 valve in place. So let's take that out. There we go. All right, then we obviously want to take the breech off now. So, what we can do, open this up, take your small, I believe this is a 2mm Allen key. I'm just going to take this small little, this is a countersink Allen key. Take this out. Alright, and there we go. Now we'll be able to split the two. Just be careful, there's some O-rings inside here that goes on the transfer port we don't want to lose those so let's put that one side and now if we take out this transfer port over here okay okay it's gonna work anyways All right, so let's just loosen this here at the end and what we're gonna do we're gonna take everything out the reverse way so if I slide this, there we go, there's our CO2 valve, still looks brand new, check at that seal, looks like it's hardly been used yet, beautiful, alright, so there we've got the CO2 valve out, now you're still wondering how we're going to get this cap screw off, well I'm going to show you soon, alright, so next step, what we're going to do, I'm going to loosen this, this is what's holding the hammer in place and also this is what allows us to cock the hammer so I'm going to take off this screw here there you go that little copper washer that you see there actually compresses and that's what's supposed to prevent this from coming loose so you always want to make sure that that's in place you'll see the same kind of screw with the copper washer that sits on your bolt action as well okay so now if we've played our cards right, our hammer should be able to go out in this direction. There we go. Okay, so there's our hammer, hammer spring. Alright, so everything's still intact. The last thing I'm going to do before I get to the end cap, 
just going to take out these little pins which makes up the trigger and then uh, from there we're going to have full access to whatever we want so just using that little two millimeter allen key just push out the pins and don't worry if you're not sure how these things fit back together i'm going to show you anyways all right so there we've got our trigger there we can see where we can adjust our trigger as well and then take up the last pin okay and then there we've got our sear that's where it engages the hammer and as you can see there's actually some grease on there so that's not a good sign we want, don't want grease on there we want that to be as dry as possible all right and then make sure you do not lose the pieces very important all right so there we have it there's our whole tube everything disassembled all that's left now is this guy over here all right let me go grab another tool i'm going to show you how we get this out all right so here we've got our complete tube assembly we're struggling to get this end cap out what we've done now basically we've cleared everything that was inside out so you may recognize this i've used this before basically just a wooden dowel with some rubber wrapped around it what you're going to do don't even need a hammer just like this just tap So all that's actually happening is it's actually just a very tight fit on this plastic inside this tube and before we reassemble we're just going to sand it down a bit so it goes in smoother there i heard it there it broke you see it's starting to come out there we go all right so there's the end cap as you can see just a very 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 tight fit very tight fit inside there so what we'll do we'll just sand that down a little bit just so it goes in there nice and easy all right so basically what we've done now we've assembled the gun completely uh, we've assembled disassembled everything that we need to disassemble from here we can work on all the parts individually and that i'm going to show you next